my mama's first time to walk. All right, One, two, here we go. Oh, the key so sweet. Oh, give him kisses. So sweet. Oh, wow. You're so sweet. Okay, okay. Hey friends, sitting with little honey, trying to calm her down. She's been upset for a little bit, but um, I just posted on social media that today was my first day back to work. And it just kind of reminded me again that social media is such a highlight reel y'all of what people's life is because of what we post online for whatever reason. And to be honest, my intention in posting all the good stuff is not to be like, everything's perfect. It's really just because I go through the things I go through that are hard with my family and community and then share some. Um, but yeah, it's been challenging and I've seen people comment stuff like, you know, she probably didn't have a hard labor. She didn't tear. She doesn't know what it's like. We actually had a really tough labor. Both of us are miraculously okay, but we um, had, it was scary. And then I have to go through a lot of healing because, um, yeah, a lot of things not go too well down there, okay? And uh, so, yeah, the first two weeks were, like, super painful. Um, and not just, like, yes, physically it was so hard, but emotionally, too, just dealing with the kind of trauma from our labor experience was a lot. And so that was really hard. I pretty much cried every day for two weeks. And, you know, I posted the one time that we went out. And so and I was able to get ready, and that's what y'all saw, you know? And that's not because I want to paint this false picture. It's literally just because I wasn't ready to talk about it yet, and now I'm slowly starting to, and I'm excited about that. But today I went in for my six-week appointment, and he said I'm still not totally healed, so I still got a little process ahead of me, but um, yeah, I'm kind of... So y'all have seen me on the go. You've seen me dancing and laughing and weddings and going out and all the different things, and yes, all of those things have been amazing. I'm so grateful I've gotten to do every single one of those things, but that didn't mean I wasn't in pain. That didn't mean that uh, I wasn't still healing. And yes, honey is amazing. She is such a great baby. But sometimes I'm sitting in this chair for literally hours and spit up all over me and uh, trying to get her to stop crying. And that's just part of it, you know? It's all part of it. And all that doesn't go online. And I think that's okay. Some of that's healthy to just be between me and my family and my people. And one day maybe I'll share some more. But this is just another perspective you know that I wanted to share with y'all and I'm going to keep sharing about stuff like this because I think it's important and every now and then I'll come to a check-in we're about to do a full podcast of the whole birth story and postpartum and everything and I look forward to that but anyways just a little healthy reality check for everybody love y'all love you were made in love you will stay you beautiful in every single way we prayed for your heart you are a work of art always know who made you who you are and may you always know that god is with you May you always know that God is good, yeah. May you always know how much He loves you. You don't have to do a thing. Little honey James, He loves you. Honey.
Jamie, what are you dreaming about? What are you dreaming about, sweet girl? That was so cute. Oh my goodness. Sweetness. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. And all my days I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Hey friends, uh, y'all, I've literally tried to do this story like a thousand times today because I first started and this is the most hilarious noises. So I start filming and she starts tooting and yeah, you can definitely hear it on the camera. Then she starts spitting up, then we have a blowout, then I fed her, then she got the hiccups. And so we have had a journey, but I just posted about um, on my instagram on my main i've been cracking up because honestly if my instagram comments had audio this is what they would sound like oh my gosh that baby looks just like her daddy she looks just like her daddy just like her daddy i have never seen a baby look so much like her daddy christian's twin honestly wow that baby looks just like her daddy and i will say when you say that she is adorable and looks just like your daddy you're complimenting me so thank you so thank you and hey good thing her daddy cute right but i mean i think she was just like me what what I'm kidding. Hey, you see your mommy? Do you see your mommy talking to you? Oh my goodness. I love talking to you. You're my best friend. Do you know that? Yes. It's a page about the Peanut app. And the Peanut app has been such a great resource because it's just an online community of women who are walking through pregnancy or postpartum or even trying to get pregnant and just sharing advice and tips for each other, which is so great to have. Um, I have definitely, you know, been walking through some hard stuff with postpartum specifically anxiety a lot which i talk about a little bit in my post i'm going to, have to share more about on my podcast coming up but it's so nice to just have people to talk to about it and just say hey just reaffirm you that it's okay and that people have been through it too and that's what i've been walking through in my own community here um honestly my anxiety's gotten so much better just because people have walked through it with me and so if you don't have community and you're looking for that through trying to get pregnant or pregnancy itself or postpartum go check out the peanut app